So testing, we can test by blood tests, we can test by urine tests. Um, so the urine test is the more, uh, is the more thorough testing, um, and this can also be done in men's. But this is, this is kind of the stereogenic pathway. It looks very busy, but I'm gonna isolate from here down. So here we go. So in the cells, for example, in the fat cells, we have aromatase. Aromatase is an enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen in men and women, okay? So, and then estradiol is broken down into estrone. Estrone is metabolized into these substrates. So all you need to, well, you don't have to remember it, but all I, the point is the 16 alpha hydroxy is bad. The two hydroxy is good. Then 4-hydroxy is bad unless you methylate it, and then it's good. So how can we get this metabolism in a positive way? <clears throat> By the way, how do emotions play into this? There was a study. There's a study that out of Iranian women, 3,000 women, there was, they found surveying these women, there was a relationship between depression and breast cancer. So what goes on in your mind actually does affect what goes on in your body. There was a study out of Baltimore where there was a relationship between loss of mother and depression and breast cancer. So going through a traumatic event can increase your risks. So back to the metabolites, eating cruciferous vegetables, supplementing with the sub, the, what's in cruciferous vegetables, which is the indole-3C, omega-3s, flaxseed, soy, good soy like edamame. Now this is kind of interesting. They studied women in Japan and they found that if, that the reason they have low, low risk of cancers is in, in breast cancer is that the teenage girls were eating a lot of soy. I mean, that, it's, a, it's a lifelong thing. They eat, if you just start to eat a lot of soy as an adult, it doesn't have an effect. So your teenagers, girl, your female teenagers should be eating soy products. And I'm not talking about a lot of soy, you know, um, supplements, but tofu, um, edamame, Vitamin D, should be checking vitamin D and taking supplements to get your vitamin D up. Folic acid, green tea extract, exercise. Again, can't emphasize this enough. This is so important to decrease inflammation, to decrease your lean, to increase your lean uh, muscle mass, prevent cancer, heart disease, stroke, etc. Regulating thyroid is very important, obviously. So in summary, our treatment program, daily exercise. So really figure out what works for you. Is it yoga? Is it walking? Is it doing kickboxing? Is it just going to the gym and putting your iPod on? Is it, is it whatever? Just find something that you enjoy that fits into your lifestyle. Um, and then as we discussed, good nutrition, um, all the things that we eating well, but also <coughs> supplementing with the things that you might be missing. Relaxation techniques. We found that meditation, we've done some meditation groups here, and we've actually measured cortisol levels. You can check cortisol by doing a salivary cortisol. It should be high in the morning and low at night. Um, and we actually, before the meditation group, checked the, the cortisol levels in the, those that did the meditation group and check the, the levels afterwards, and there was definitely an improvement. So relaxation techniques, meditation, um, anything you can do to decrease your cortisol is a healthy thing. Sleep, good sleep, figure out what's going on with your sleep. Um, do a sleep study. We have a home sleep study test that can, is a good screening for, for sleep apnea or sleep architecture disruption. Um, so. If you're not sleeping, try to sleep at least seven to eight hours per night. And then again, hormonal balance when indicated. So uh, it's not for everybody, but if, if it is, you know, it, it eases us in. We have, the point at the beginning was that we have a lot of life to live. We don't, we're not dying at, at age 49 or 50. 
we're going to maybe reach 100. So we really have a lot of time to enable ourselves to feel good and be healthy. So hormones when needed. So Lucille Ball, the secret to staying young is to eat, to live honestly, eat slowly, and lie about your age. <laughs>